Glorious has quite the interesting story within the PC peripheral space. I mean, when they came out with the innovation and budget-friendly options with their gaming mice, they blew up. Then they came around and they started having some QC issues. Then they got heavily into the keyboard and custom keyboard space. And now it seems like they're kind of going backwards a little bit. And that really shines with the new Glorious Model D2 or dud too. We got a lot to talk about here, but first let's take a look at these mice. Now kicking it off with the raw measurements of this mouse, we're gonna go in and get that length first off so you can see right here. That is going from the very top to the very end there. Let's go with that other most important measurement, which is right that midpoint, right where the buttons crease over. And then in the middle of the sensor, you can see the height right there. As far as the grip width on the bottom, that is that, and now that flare out on the back end of the hump. And then let's go to the top by the buttons up here, trying not to press them in. You can see that. And then up here on the buttons where they flare out right up at the tippy top. And then I'm gonna to try to get the height of the buttons from the bottom without pressing those in as well. Ooh, let me get it right here. And that is that height. Now, as far as the wireless to the wire, they are the exact same shape. And if you're curious, yes, it's pretty much an exact clone as far as in the hand. You'll see the buttons are different where they flare out a little bit more. But as far as one to the other in the hand, spit an image. And now for the heat signature test with the infrared camera that is going to show my actual grip points of the mouse. Again, this is going to differ from hand shape and grip width, but it's going to give you a more idea of, again, where that hump truly sits in the hand. I got medium to large hands. And again, this is definitely a palm grip mouse. It is definitely bold. It is a bigger mouse. So I'm trying to get that heat to transfer over to this. And when I take my hand off underneath the camera here, you'll see those red spots or darker spots than blue or purple to show you the heat. So when I take my hand off, you can see, I mean, it's all over this mouse here. So let me get it from the top and show you that back end. You can see right on the back, it's rolling right from back here into my thumb. So you see that's one complete grip right there. And then same on the other side, you can see it rolling from there. And then my finger coming up there as well, almost taking up the entire back bit of the hump minus that last little crest back there. That is because again, when this mouse is in your hand, you can see that hump back there is rolling on the back of your palm. And then over here, it's rolling there as well. It's truly in your hand. If you want to take it and flick and dip it, you're still going to get these humps on the backside, kind of bonking you in the side of your palm. Now, while we're talking about the shape, we're looking at the dimensions and the grip and everything. I want to talk about three compare here and number one again being the glorious model d pro or the original model d how it feels again it's a spitting image in the hand it feels like that to a t i would say there's a little bit more groove up here on the buttons which we'll talk about the buttons here shortly but shape to shape spit an image. Now coming over here to the Death Adder V3 Pro, putting this in the hand, it is definitely a little bit more of a handful, but it's more streamlined. So I, when I mentioned that these uh, bulges on the side of the back of the D, you're going to feel that hit your palm on each side. Over here on the Viper or the Death Adder V3 Pro, you can definitely dance it around a little bit more if you want and then pull it into your hand. That's what makes this such a fun mouse. Again, it's kind of streamlined. It's safe. It's G Pro. It's big, bold, plump G Pro, right? Coming over here to this one, you definitely got the EC shape, which brings me right over here to the X Lite V3. Kind of, again, that same type of bit. Now, this mouse is slightly smaller than the Model D or the Death Adder. Again, when this gets in your hand, it's almost instantly into a palm grip. It is a bigger mouse. Coming over to this one, again, you can really play around with it. Dance it around a little bit more. Even though you got the flares, it doesn't hit you too much in the back of the palm or you can pull it into a palm if you want. So really flexible here. Again, Zowie EC-ish. This is definitely a whole lot bolder. So if you want that big palm grip mouse, that is what the Model D does. Now taking a look at the weight of the Model D2, you can see on the bottom of my wireless, I do have the extra feet on there because I love that big flat foot kind of Zowie type feel, definitely more pure. Over here on the wired one, you can see this is how they come standard. So anyways, Putting the wireless on the scale, we're getting right at 66 grams. And now let's get a little bit of cable slack here and we'll put the wired one on. We're getting 58 grams. You know what? Let's go on and put the pro version on here. We're getting 63 grams. It's again, did they go backwards with the new D2 Pro? Now let's go and take a look at the build of this mouse. And you all know now I use the force gauge meter, so I'm not just squeezing it because everyone's going to squeeze a little bit different or a little bit harder. We got a fair comparison here. So let's go on the side over by the buttons 
and I can go all the way up to like 12 pounds. I'm not getting any flex, no button actuation. And that just makes me happy because again, Glorious had some build issues back in the days and now seeing their build is just, oh, it's solid. On the bottom, I would say right around maybe nine pounds, I start getting some flex, but of course you're not gonna be pressing on the bottom. So who really cares about that? As far as the top, rock solid as well i mean glorious has come a long way with their build if you want to check the uh, wired one as well here again it's pretty much the exact same all the way around i'm a little more curious about the bottom down here this one is again same right around eight or nine pounds it starts flexing but who really cares about the bottom flex so you all know one of my main issues with glorious from day one was their build quality even though they had that budget price tag and they were lightweight which caught all that hype I just felt like you were getting a piece of junk product and it didn't feel quality. So seeing Glorious, again, get their build quality to this tier is absolutely amazing. And I love seeing it. We still see some companies these days making incredibly lightweight mice that flex super bad and they still catch hype, which is just weird in my book. So again, I love a good solid product, but this is kind of where it falls off a little bit. And I believe I got a model dud too. I'm gonna give you a listen to these buttons here on the wireless and the wired one. So wired one first. You all hear that in my button one, it is crunchy. And whenever you just press down, it feels like you get three clicks. It's like click, 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 and then it goes down. It is unusable and unbearable in game. Now I'm sure what's happening here is the switches, again, budged forward a little back, or maybe that plastic, but again, the foot that comes down and hits the switches out of place. It's just, again, unusable. And the reason why this is an issue, because again, this is probably just one of however many are out there, because again, my wired one's perfectly fine. But seeing this from Glorious, it's almost like I thought they had their QC in line, but it seems like they're kind of pushing them out again. Like this type of issue shouldn't happen. You know, this is an unusable issue. Now Glorious does have two year warranty, so I'm sure they'll swap it out and I'll contact Glorious and say, hey man, can we get another one to check out here? And I'll leave a pinned comment down below if it is fixed or not. But again, this is unacceptable. Now I'd love to sit here and talk about performance and how they actually fared in game, but I'm gonna be straight with you. I could not use the wireless one in game. I tried my hardest just again for the sake of the review, but that button is unbearable, unusable, and absolutely annoying. And I'm sorry, I'm just not gonna use a wired mouse. So if you stuck to this video, my statement in the beginning of this video is probably resonating with you. Like what is Glorious doing? Are they taking a step back? Like. Number one, the mouse is heavier. Yeah, it's not much, but who really goes heavier? You know what I mean? And again, the QC, having that switch like that is just a big bummer. And again, I get it. This might be one out of a hundred or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna review what I got. And as a consumer, you're spending a hundred bucks. That's a big bummer. And talking about this mouse being a hundred bucks, the market right now is flooded with absolutely phenomenal gaming mice for a hundred bucks. Pulsar, for example, like holy smokes, those are amazing. I mean, Turtle Beach is making better mice than this now for around the same price. Who would have ever thought that? So again, I feel like Glorious really started off with a banger. They got a little comfortable, just laxy daisy, kind of soaked in more of the keyboard space and put their mice on the back burners. And that's exactly what we're experiencing right here. And I just can't recommend these in the current state. I think there's better mice out there for your money. So I'm sorry this video is a little bit of a Debbie Downer here. It's never fun covering the bad products, but I feel like as a reviewer, if we only cover the good products, it's gonna mislead the consumer, right? So we gotta cover the bad as much as it's not fun for me to cover or you to watch. But all in all, I hope this was able to help you out one way or another, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.